Hey everyone, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. Let's just get right into it today because we are on location with the in the Don't Let It Stew <laughs> studio with Chef Stu. Hey, thanks for having me again. I mean, talk about, you know, product placement. We always are in front of the Don't mm -hmm. Let It Stew sign, but we are, I'm here, I'm in LA, I'm in West Hollywood at your humble abode. I love yeah. it. Thank you for inviting me. I do everything here. In like entertainment, <laughs> recipes, podcasts, why There's, not? For everyone who can't see, there's lots of cooking stuff all around. Yeah. So you're like multitasking. Of course. But you are a chef and you're a podcaster. Yeah. Well, you know, I was just, everyone, first of all, should check me out on your show. I was just on your show recently. We talked a little bit about New Jersey, but let's continue that. Yeah. I have talked about this topic ad nauseum. Nobody listening wants my opinion because I've given my opinion, but just there's no right answer. What do you think is going to happen with the future of this show? I, I, I honestly think it'll come back for another season. I think they just needed to step down before everybody got daggers out and started killing people. Like I thought, I thought it got to a place where they were just like, I feel they're going to kill each other. And Andy was, and he was like, there's no reunion. We'll do this kind of show and tell thing, watching the episode and we're done because the last episode was insane. And yeah. it, it didn't need a reunion. What to rehash all that kind of stuff again? Like I feel like they were just like they need to go away for eight months. And we're stepping down. Put down the cameras. Let's see how this plays out. Let's just let everything kind of just settle, and then we can talk to them all. Hopefully, Melissa and Teresa will make up, and then we can pick back up again. I think it needs to be picked back up again because Danielle and Rachel are fantastic housewives. And they're just getting started. And they've had two great seasons. I feel for your second year, yeah, they, I feel yeah. they did the job the first year and I feel they did the job the second year. I agree. Yeah. I don't think either of them deserves to go anywhere. And it's hard to like find good housewives on the first go. You know what Very. I mean? It's trial and error, trial. I mean, how many, I mean, how many times did they give Crystal a try? I was <laughs> she like but think about Erica Jane her first season Dorinda certain yeah. people the minute Dorit the minute you see them you're like we got a winner here yeah honestly yeah I feel that's them you feel because I know there's was these these grumblings recently like a week or two ago that Teresa and Melissa were like gonna reconcile that they've this is first of all a source some anonymous source has said this you kind of believe this because I don't, but I'm just curious. You think that this has happened? You think it can happen? I think I think definitely it can happen because you know what? At the end of the day, if people's pocketbook are affected, they will. That will get you in line. If you're knowing that you're not getting your sixty thousand, eighty thousand, a hundred thousand an episode, whatever it is, because those two girls are on it now a long time. So they're probably up in the high Teresa, I think, is like in the twos. High, oh, there you go. I think Melissa's in the ones. That's yeah. just my opinion. But what that the hell is do a I lot know? of money. Look at those yeah. houses that they have. Look at the up bills. The you know, the bills are gonna see keep coming in. And I honestly feel if it's just the two of them together to just sit down and be like, listen, I know we kind of fucking hate each other, but we gotta figure this out. Let's just put all this behind us in the past. Let's just shoot. Let's try and have fun. Let's just try. And I, I look, they're gonna, they're gonna lose it. I mean, granted, we've been trying that for a decade, all the seasons yeah. before this. <laughs> but it, you know, I feel this was the real world. Like I feel when they pretended. But I, I agree with you. I don't disagree with you. I just think like to be taught a lesson. Sometimes you really gotta feel it. And so you don't you feel it, it all. yeah, and like you don't feel your loss of income after a month, six months. Like I think we might be in a long like, it. This is reality, guys. Like it's not coming back. Like one of you didn't win. The show is still just. We're not talking about it. I think it's gonna have. I think it's gonna have to come to that if they ever were to speak. But I don't even. You are way more optimistic than me. Or it comes back and Melissa and Teresa are gone, and they just move on with just two new other people to bring them in. And it continues because I think the trouble is those two not like Melissa didn't really have a storyline this season, right? No, no, but I think she got a great edit. I yeah. thought I yeah. thought she was light and bright and fun and talking uh -huh. about sprinkle cookies and posing and that was really funny. I, she she had that's what I'm saying. She <laughs> had like, funny wait, moments. That's okay, but she's still going on about the sprinkle cookies, <laughs> right? Like that was really yeah, funny, it's and amazing. it's uh, it's true. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, Jackie called Louie's ex to her house and the other one twice 
but yet you were upset about the sprinkle cake. Yeah. It's these were funny lines. It was funny. And like and you see Melissa's face go, wait, what? <laughs> Right. And when like Rachel called her hot dog lips, Melissa's like, she can't help it. Like she's in her glory. She had a great edit, Melissa yeah. Varga. Hot dog lips. That was unbelievable. Who's Rachel food that said that? Was yeah. That unbelievable. I mean, I would love it to come back to, I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I think it's crazy because I definitely think it's one of the top franchises out of all of them. And what I've said before here, I think like, you know, sometimes in life you're on a high and you don't realize it. And then mm. you, I think like if this goes away in like three years, everybody will look back and say, man, we had no, like when you're making a ton of money and you're yeah. like spending yes. it in it, you don't really realize because you get it every year, how much fucking money it is. Yeah. I think they're going to look back and be like, holy shit. Like we had that every single year in our bank account. And I know that was a shitload of money. money. I should have put a lot of more of it away always the way we should have put more yeah. of it away and we couldn't have just pretended the same way like I mean, i've had better years in my career and like endorsements here there and the other end then you're like god like five years i was making a lot of money and now it's not as much as i was making that it's just up and down it's like yeah you never realize it in the moment in the moment no you're having a great time you're riding that wave let's buy this shit. let's go let's go on vacation whatever yes. yeah I don't know, but I hope you're right. I'm going to try to think positive. Yeah. And you think ideally you'd want every single person back, the entire cast, Jackie, I think Jennifer. they could do one more season, but, really? but Melissa and Teresa have to shoot together. They have there to. has to be some kind of reconciliation. Maybe that's the opening episode of the new, and it's like, and it's like, guys, I don't care what happens today. There's no glass throwing. We just need to like, end it like with hugs, kisses, see you later. And then we start. Yes. Now you do realize we also have to take into fact that there's an audience watching. Like the people have to believe it. So I don't think they're going to believe it. No, it today. has to be real. Like it has to be real. It can't be just like, we're just fake it. Like, right. Because no. people are just going to say, these two hate each other. This is bullshit. Mm -hmm. But I hope that I'm wrong. I hope my cynical ways don't get the best of the show and that you're right. And it goes on to live a long so. life. What, um, just yes. since I'm thinking now, yeah. since that one ended, what do what to we have Salt Lake City and then we have Beverly Hills? No, what what we have Salt Lake New York. Salt Lake New York, great, great. I'm gonna go into both with a positive attitude. Yeah. Are you excited? For I'm excited either? about Salt Lake City, New York. I liked the first season. I did like it. I'm gonna go into it both with a very yeah. positive attitude because anything could happen. I think the trailers on both are good. I have a question for you yeah. and it, it just popped in my head right you now and ask. I want to say it to you because I was meant to write it down for my show earlier. I was seeing like the, the cast photographs of Salt Lake City and at the very end was Jen Shaw. Is she out of jail? 